Hey, a little video. Uh, on this one, I just redid my uh, ADC bag. and um, Well, not my ADC bag. I redid my ADC bag, but this one is the uh, one of my two bugger bag. And that's the one that stays in the car. And so I changed a little bit my philosophy and the gear that I put in. And so I wanted to do a quick review. I did, uh, I won't review too much the backpack because I did one in my uh, in the past on my channel, but it's uh, the Contera Patrol uh, search and rescue type of bag. And I had that in my days of search and rescue, and uh, I thought it would be a good use for ATC. Um, so this is what it looks like. I didn't weight it, but from just uh, lifting it, maybe it's about 40 pounds. So. Um, so we'll go uh, quickly around it. Um, in the front over here, uh, carry. I, I talked about that knife before. It's like a search and rescue knife. Uh, you got a. Uh, this is non. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's not made to be uh, sharp. And then you have some uh, sharp, sharper hand on this side, and uh, you got a seat belt cutter over here. And this is for uh, wedging and uh, prying as well over here it's a little bit the same thing so pretty much uh, this is for like river rescue type of thing and you have a window puncher kind of uh, device over here it's rubberized uh, so basically it's like to pry and so that's why it's more search and rescue than uh, a cutting tool but I thought it would be a good place well, it was there anyway uh, like I said from uh, uh, my search and rescue bag and so I decided to left it there on the side over here I um, I got myself a new tent uh, did a video on that about it. Uh, so uh, I kind of retired my uh, bivouac uh, for the purpose of uh, EDC so this is the bivouac it's for one person but I, I truly uh, believe that um, if you would be in a situation a uh, two person could uh, kind of fit in it. Uh, it would be tight but still it would provide some shelter and easy to carry, not to uh, weight, it has a good protection. Um, uh, so uh, so that's why I put it over there. Uh, because it's winter I added a uh, warm jacket and gloves um, and uh, on the outside over here is a pair of pants, uh, kind of working pants uh, so if I'm just caught out with jeans and stuff, then I'll switch to that stuff. It's more re robust and uh, stay warmer. So um, <clears throat> on the outside too, it's uh, uh, this is my life uh, um, uh, life water uh, life saving uh, bottle for uh, water. So basically, uh, I talked about it a little bit in my India trip. Um, According to manufacturer, you could take like the most disgusting water you ever had, put that on, and uh, you will be able to drink it. So I thought in the uh, bug out situation, urban slash wilderness, that would be the proper device to have. Uh, it's a little bit uh, big, but uh, it holds very well on the on the outside like this. And then now I can, uh, if I find uh, I found like very very bad water. Then I can uh, start to treat it actually until I can get better. There's also uh, an add on that goes on the inside over here, and it's a, a carbon f filter, so it can take as well uh, uh, most of the uh, oils and uh, petroleums and stuff like that that uh, you could find in the uh, in the water, especially in the urban environment. So on the top. So we'll um, I'll put the camera down so that uh, you don't get too much nausea, <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, go through uh, the main pockets inside and the top pocket. Okay, so uh, the philosophy of the bag is uh, so my ADC. I, I kind of mentioned that in past videos, but I kind of. Like I was saying, I changed it a little bit, so I'm, I'll retake about it. Um, my EDC bag and the EDC stuff that I carry on me at all time will be to get me to this bag. Uh, so if there's uh, so that means my EDC bag 
is uh, mostly oriented towards um, uh, urban because that's when I walk in the city, I got that on me. Um, if I'm in a plane, I'm going to carry it with me and things. Uh, so that that's why I got the ADC bag. And then uh, to get to that bag, so the ADC bag, can, I kind of go into a 72 hours uh, scenario, uh, more even um, 24 to 36, I would say, maybe two to three days, um, one to two days, uh, just so I could get to this bag. So if whatever happened, if there's a riot or uh, if there's a disaster and I'm stuck somewhere else, at least I have this bag to get me to uh, this, this other bag. Um, this bag... What I did was kind of a, a double, and I'll show you a little bit about that. Um, it's about for one week. Um, why the one week? Uh, because, it, it, well, it's a number. <laughs> and also, uh, sometime here on the roads that we have, and so this is the bag that stays in my car, so it has multiple purpose. It's not just like uh, if this is that or happens and stuff. Uh, during the, the floods, it took about one week before the road reopens. So, so that's why it has a one week mentality on it. As well as uh, um, during the winter here, there's a lot of avalanche sometimes that close the roads and you can be stuck in one of those. So that's why I, I took for the one week. Um, but as well, it has uh, capacity to extend on some of the, so uh, on the medical side, I have the capacity to uh, sterilize new uh, dressing and stuff if I ran out of dressings. Uh, I also have some things that uh, can provide me uh, food. The shelter, I guess, you know, it, does, it doesn't, uh, one week this, uh, the bivouac doesn't want to dissolve and disappear. So, so that's why it's in the water. I mean, I can re-purify some and, and re-sterilize uh, uh, and uh, get more water uh, so that's that's where the bag is it's kind of between one week and with capacity to extend uh, on this top part over here uh, it's kind of uh, uh, defensive uh, things I got uh, those are kind of sonar uh, bombs it's more like for pranks but uh, they're very loud and so if I would be in a situation again uh, riot or, or something that I have to get out or get an attraction or uh, uh, first shooter, uh, active shooter kind of scenarios, then uh, I got that in my DC, but I, I could uh, use some of those as well. Uh, so that's why they're on the top here, so if I have to grab them very quickly uh, to get on a dodge. This is a headlamp. Uh, I got also a compass. I got some extra stuff for the bottle. Uh, I got a, those uh, survival 36, to, uh, 36 hours. Not so much for the heat that it's going to provide, but the light that it could provide. I have also quick uh, food. To, so again, if I get to my, my bag and I have to get out very quickly, but I want to get a snack quickly, so I got a, a bar and um, thing. And uh, I got my Vargo stove there. So that's on the top part. I also have a quick uh, repair kit, and I have one of those uh, pack light UV. Uh, so uh, that now I can have again this uh, recycling light. If I leave it on the outside, there I'll be able to uh, see my light a little bit more. Uh, on the inside of the bag, and I'll give a, an insight once I get it. I got a little bit of my fire kit, uh, so I got a uh, strike force, a uh, few tenders, and I'm going to add on the stuff. There's there's a shipping coming, so I'll add on this. Uh, this is a little cup that also, if I find myself in, I carry this also in my flight bag. If I get stuck, it can go in the microwave. Um, so if I would be stuck in an urban environment, then I'll, I could also uh, boil some water and stuff if I still had, if there's still electricity. A uh, little radio that can be a flashlight, cranking, and uh, power. The S SAS Urban Survival Handbook. Again, this is more uh, urban slash wilderness, but it's mostly again towards urban. Uh, I got the Blizzard survi Survival Bag, so that would be kind of the equivalent of my sleeping bag for that system, plus added on on the clothes that I have. Uh, the MSR uh, water filter, and this one has the carbon cartridge, so uh, I was talking to a few people, good in disaster, herbins and stuff, and they were saying that 
that could probably take some of the stuff that is in the water in the urban environment so fuels and stuff some of it doesn't mean that i will take it all but it, from the different filter on the market that one would be maybe their first their first choice uh, i got two mre and also with this bag i'm going to add a little bit of uh, food component to it so like rice and stuff like that um, i got the uh, gsi um, kit with uh, two, uh, three actually, three gel pack um, so I can boil my little water on my Virgo and, and then again the Virgo now I can use uh, uh, wood uh, if I find but if I'm in an urban environment and don't have uh, uh, wood available then I can still do something. Uh, I got a charger, uh, solar charger which uh, holds uh, one charge for about a year so basically now it's fully charged and I could charge uh, readily my equipment. Uh, on the other side here uh, there's a bag and pretty much it, that's my uh, hygiene kit. Uh, I talk a little bit about that my kit when I was using in India so it's about the same concept so I got a sink to uh, do my cleaning and as well as uh, a little bit of towel as well as well as cleaning my clothes. I got soap that can be used for this dual purpose. I got a uh, diaper and the reason for the diaper, well if I'm in the environment where uh, in an urban environment and stuff and I cannot um, I'm in a building or something where I can always not wear the diaper uh, but pee on the diaper and basically that could be and then I could uh, just discard that. I also carry one of those uh, kind of camping bag so that means I can make it like a portable uh, toilet and I could take care of my knees for a few days until uh, I make a big, bigger hole or something. Uh, those uh, toothbrush, uh, basically you just, uh, you just start, uh, they have scopes on it and, and they're little toothbrush, disposable toothbrush. So basically you just go ahead and um, with your saliva and stuff they go active. Uh, so I got uh, two, four, I got four of them, uh, so that uh, could last me about uh, two or three days. Uh, I have also toothpaste, so one of them I could use now with uh, toothpaste that I got here. Uh, then I got uh, a bunch of clothes here, so I have a pair of, uh, uh, a, a, another pair of pants, not as uh, robust as the other one, but more smaller that can uh, transfer into uh, Shorts, so now I can have pair uh, pair of pants and shorts. Uh, I got a pair of socks, and also have a pair of underwear. Um, actually, two pair of underwear. So basically, with only this, I could uh, change underwear and socks on a regular basis, and uh, have my clothes. So uh, even whatever happens to my clothes, or if they're they're soaked or something, now I have a full pair of of dry clothes that I can use. Um, so uh, that was it for uh, the bag, and oh yeah, and uh, on the top on, on this uh, this one here, I got a few uh, traps like uh, rat traps, and also a sling bow and uh, things like that. So it's more my uh, defense slash food department uh, if need be. Um, uh, I want, I'm going to show you the inside of the bag because of how uh, the pockets are. So again, this bag is more for like uh, when you do rescues and stuff. Uh, so it's set up for that uh, when you have your avalanche probes and stuff, you can put them on the side of the bed, uh, of the bag, sorry. And I'll show you uh, what I set up there. I think it's a pretty cool uh, system. 